Oh, my lovely people. What's going on, my beautiful people? How y'all doing, man? I know it's been a while since I have touched y'all screens, man. Y'all YouTube screen, whatever fuck, phone screen, laptop screen, whatever fuck y'all be watching this on. It's been a little minute, man. I be so wrapped up in real life, you know what I'm saying? I don't really take a lot of time out. I know I say that all the time, but it's true. Uh, I figure... Why not bless y'all with a little something, something, you dig what I'm saying? I'm fresh off work, so please excuse the lightning is dark, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a car, and uh, where we from? Yeah, damn sure don't want to cause no attention, because they won't hesitate to pull your black ass over. Either way, how about we just do a little story time, you know what I'm saying? As I'm sure you guys read, you guys read the title, and I'm going to tell y'all the story about when both of those situations happened to me in the same fucking city. And if you're not uh, familiar by, of me, my name is Carter, and this is Kita and Carter's channel. Uh, Kita is probably asleep about now. She worked first shift, so, uh, yeah, she got to get up real early. So, uh, she going to get on my ass because I made her pissed off while I came home. Either way, that's neither here nor there, man. We're going to jump right into this thing. You did. It's Roro. 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 To a first things first disclaimer. This was very early in our relationship, uh, so maybe two years ago, and also, <laughs> please excuse the acting I've been stressing. But uh, yeah, so this is <coughs> <coughs> very early in our relationship. Uh, we, <laughs> I'm gonna just say it. Probably looking from the outside looking in, there's no way me and Keita should have been in a relationship as damaged as we were from our past relationships and our previous situations, you know what I'm saying? But, so to speak, it was a, a, a very much so a fairy tale in, 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 in a certain way because uh, we were able to heal together and grow together in the same sense, in the same sense. So, you know, I wouldn't have had it work out no different than, than it did. I wouldn't have never, I wouldn't change anything about our situation. So, yeah, so, man, check this out, man. Yeah, so, I had, around this time, I was working third shift. I was on third shift. She was on second shift, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she had her car, had mine, whatever the case may be. My car at the time had gotten into an accident and got totaled. My brother had my car and it got totaled, whatever. So... It was just like, you know, it was good looks that she worked second shift and then I worked third so that she would be already, you know, settled in at the crib when it's time for me to go to work. So then I was just taking her car to work. So I had an iPhone 6 as like, <clears throat> I just had an old phone and then I had a 7. My regular phone was a 7 and I had a, also had an iPhone 6. But the 6, I just used like to listen to music and shit, right? So I... My iCloud was clearly attached to it. And you know what I'm saying? Like, Texas, text messages will come to their phone, like, when it's under Wi-Fi and shit like that. But I really didn't think too much of it because I didn't, I wasn't doing nothing I wasn't supposed to do. So, I wasn't tripping. So, uh, you got to keep your shit moisturized, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to keep licking my lips. So, yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Man, I cannot believe I've been stressing like this. I'm really broken out. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Either way, so yeah, I had these two phones, you know what I'm saying? My my regular line was the seven or whatever. So uh usually by me having O C D the way I do, I make sure I get everything. Like I, I would make sure I had everything out of her car. And you know what I'm saying? Like just, you know, so she have a clean slate when she start her day or whatever the case may be. So, but this specific day, I think it had, I think this was like the last day of my work week. I can't, I can't remember for sure, cause I try to X out, X out bad things that went on in my life just to keep me from, you know, keep from the disruption. So, disruption. So, anyway, <clears throat> uh, I, I, this day I just didn't take nothing out. I just didn't care. I was tired. So, you know, we go in the house, we chill, we cool, we light up and shit, whatever. Cause they be Kenzie, she took Kenzie to school. You know what I'm saying? We chilling. 
So, of course, that was the routine. I get off of third shift. She lay with me. We kick it until I fall asleep. And then I fall asleep and she do whatever it is that she was going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, I would come home. We would kick it and shit. And then when I would go to sleep, we would fall asleep finally. She would <clears throat> just go ahead and, you know, go about her day and do whatever it is she had to do. So, <clears throat> um, this specific day. And... Disclaimer, pause time, pause in the time lapse. So we uh we had bought some some shoes, right? <clears throat> it was the navy blue Tims, right? And it was navy blue, and then they had like the weed color around them, like the, the ankle part and the bottom and everything. They were some real dope shit. So uh we all of us had got it. The whole family had got them. Keita got them, I got them, uh small fry got them, and Poppy got them. So we all had them. So they was at my house because we were not living together at this time. But they were, I was, you know, living by my, with my, with my brother. We, uh, me and my brother had a place together and she had her situation. So the shoes was at my house. So of course I got the biggest foot in the house. So it's my shoes, her shoes, and then the kids shoes, right? So, you know, they stacked up like that on top of my box. That's, I'm just going to say that. So, you know what I'm saying? I go to sleep and another disclaimer, I've always told her, only wake me up in the panic if it's something really, some tough shit going on. You feel me? I had told her this so many times because I got really bad anxiety. You know what I'm saying? And I fucking die. You hear me? I would die. You hear me? So I'm like, I don't like being woke up in a panic. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So whatever. Nikita woke me up in the most irate manner. It was so crazy, bro. I, I thought I literally felt like that fucking SpongeBob me. A little bullshit. Like, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? It felt like a Tyler Perry movie, bro. I She was fucking screaming and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is she screaming? I wake up and boom! I get smacked in the face with this fucking fat ass phone. I'm like, Nothing else matters at this point. I'm pissed. I'm like, why, why, why would you do that? I'm like, why would you do that? What the fuck is wrong with you? She like, so then I see her crying and she's already. She's so I'm like, oh, I'm in protective mode. What's wrong, baby? What's going on? Well, how can I help you? Why are you crying? What's the deal? You're my girlfriend. What's going on? So she like, you ain't shit, nigga. I'm like, wow, what the fuck just happened, G? How long was I asleep? What time is it? What the fuck transpired from the time I fell asleep till now? What happened, bro? So she like, you still fucking with her? Da 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 you're not just finna put that on me. And I know how Kita is, so it could be nothing in this in something. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, what is it, bro? And in her defense, uh, it was definitely text messages in that phone that I was receiving that was inappropriate from previous situations or my a previous situation. But... In my defense, I was not responding to those text messages. As you can see in the seven and the six, I, I was just receiving the messages. I wasn't responding because what the fuck? I mean, I was like, what? I don't want no conflict, bro. So I'm just going to ignore you. It's nothing for me to fall off the side of the earth. You know what I'm saying? I'll drop off so fucking fast, X a motherfucker out, it ain't even funny. You would be like, damn, did I even know her for real? But you know, that's neither here nor there. So I just wasn't responding to the text. And she was pissed about the shit that was coming in to them, to them phones and to my phones. But I didn't want to disrupt her peace by bringing it up. Like, man, this motherfucker text me. You know what I'm saying? Because it was pointless. Like, what's she going to do? Text her up, text her up. Like, what? That's, we too old for that shit. So, um, I just was ignoring the text. But she didn't like, she didn't like that at all. So, she's spazzing on me. She's like, you ain't shit, da, 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 da. You fucking man, bitch. I'm like, yo, no, I'm not. You're bugging, bro. You're bugging the fuck out. So I'm like, just talk to you. Talk to you. She's like, I'm finna go. Fuck, I'm done. I'm finna live. Whoa, whoa. I'm like, duh. Duh. You tripping. See, you ain't done with shit. We gonna resolve this right now because I did no wrong. You know what I'm saying? 
I did that wrong, so I'm, I'm like, how can I fix this? What is it? What's the problem with my girlfriend? What did I do? I'm pleading at this point because I'm like, what the fuck? You not even saying that I can't fix nothing if I don't know what, what what's, what's to be fixed. So she's still spazzing on me and shit. Like, so then I'm like, man, she trying to leave. I'm like, I'm like, bro, because I'm getting frustrated now because you're not telling me nothing. So I'm like, bro. You're not going nowhere until you start opening up these pretty little lips and talk to me, bro. So she got mad. She knocked down all the other shoes. All the other shoes. Poppy was a little baby. Poppy was a baby. His shoe box wasn't no bigger than this. She could have took that box and threw it. She threw all of the shoe boxes off that box. Pick up mine and throw it at me. Listen. Our relationship is not nowhere near physical, ever, at all. So I, I don't get into that at all. In no way, shape, no form, I don't I don't take it and I don't dish it. You know what I'm saying? I don't dish it out. So eh, that was up. Oh, okay, cool. I said, you want to leave? Go ahead. Because I ain't finna do all that with you. Bye. And she left, bro. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker really, I'm sick now. I was sitting that bitch sick, <clears throat> and I had to go to work that night. I'm like, <sighs> and my brother like, what happened, bro? I'm like, nigga, I don't know what happened while I was asleep. What was going on? What did she do? What, what, what happened while I was, like, what was it? And, and he didn't know neither, so I'm looking in the phone. I'm like, damn, this look bad. <laughs> it was some bad. It was like, it was bad, like news and shit, but... I didn't, it's not, I don't ask for news because personally, my opinion, uh, I, news really don't do much for me. Cause I'm, I mean, it's nice to look at you, like, oh, okay, that's nice. But it ain't gonna be like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm just knocking shit down. I ain't trying to be looking at it, you know what I'm saying? I'm grown as a motherfucker, I ain't on that. So, I mean, it was, I should have blocked her, I guess, but I never was in that phone like that, like, the most I did was turn the phone on and press play. All I was on that phone for was music, so anything else was, you know, pointless. I mean, it was irrelevant. So she's pissed, she leaves, and I'm like, I can't sleep. And I got on my bagel, I can't sleep. I'm fucked up. I, 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 how can I fix this? I can't lose my family. Woo -woo. She like, I come back, because I clearly had to go to work. So I'm like, I, I'm just, I'm fucked up. So she like, I'm coming back, but not now. I'm not gonna stop your money no matter what we going through. So I'm like, respect. But I'm like, fuck this bread, man. Shit. The money being long, with your lifespan being shorter. No, I need to make this shit work right now. I need to make this better. So she comes, she's, I'm trying to hold her. She's like, so what it mean? Shit. I'm like, <laughs> she big mad, bro. I'm fucked up. I'm fucked. She, I'm, I'm just, it's over with. She's done. So I go to work. I'm in the car, I'm in the car, sad as a bitch, I'm drunk. I'm like, bro, I'm sick, I can't, I can't eat, I can't think, bro, I'm fucked up, G, I ain't get no sleep today, I'm, I'm all right, I'm fucking delusional, I don't know what's going on, bro, so I get to work, and I ain't had no little low-key job, bro, I was busting my ass the whole shit, so, I'm like, I can't focus, I can't, I'm texting her, she's not responding, because she's sleep, of course, I'm like, Mm -mm. I leave. I leave work at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I go home. She's like, why would you leave? I'm like, I got to make this right. I, I got to make this shit better. And I guess with that just that little time break that she had like that, she just, uh, she was able to have time to herself to actually think some things through and uh, see the, put pieces together that really I wasn't wrong because I, I did nothing wrong. I could have eliminated the situation in a better way instead of just trying to ignore it. But I wasn't responding and I wasn't doing anything wrong. So it was just like, I can completely understand why she would be mad, but I didn't, I didn't do nothing wrong though. But I, I fixed the situation though. And I, and I, and I completely got that shit out the door. You know what I'm saying? So she had time to herself to actually think in a, in a calming way. And she understood that, you know what I'm saying? She, she got it right. She got it right. You know what I'm saying? She got it together. But she still was more so mad that she was saying, 
I'm mad that you was even receiving the messages. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? So, I ain't finna fight with you, G. Whatever you say, G. So, you know what I'm saying? That was that. And But she definitely was trying to say, oh, we can still move together. Who's who finna move? Who's finna move in? Move in together. She like, we can be roommates. I'm like, roommates? This is a two-bedroom. Who you sharing the room with the kids? She like, no, you sharing the room. I'm like, you got me fucked up. Okay, cool. But she had this whole little moment. She was calling me best friend and shit. I'm like, this girl is a dub, bro. She's a joke. But, you know, we go through those type of things to get us to where we are now. You know what I'm saying? It just shows you that what's meant to be is going gonna, gonna to be. It is what it is. You can't make sense out of nonsense. And, and we supposed to be how we are and where we are today. And, uh, yeah, man, she woke me up. I felt like I was in like a... Like, what? An iPhone 6 to the face. You know what I'm saying? She swept down. She didn't, but I ain't gonna never forget that. And she threw that big-ass Timberland box at me. I was like, this girl's a bugging G. She's a bugging G. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I ain't mad. You know what I'm saying? I would have I, I would have expected nothing less. You know what I'm saying? If somebody you give me your all to, and you, you feel like they being, you know deceitful so you know what I'm saying that's that that's that on that but I wasn't and and we still here to this day you know what I'm saying we going strong y'all know what the fuck going on yeah so man that was just a little quick little story time I know it's been a minute since I blessed y'all uh TVs y'all laptops y'all phones whatever it is y'all watching this on so I guess I just figured that I'd come uh fuck with y'all for a little bit you know what I'm saying with a quick little story time um right before I go to the gig right now it is 10 50 or that's 10 20 my bad 20 20 10, 20 a.m. in this motherfucker, man. It is Friday, and now I'm blessed to be here, you know what I'm saying? My shorty in the living room, he watching TV or whatever he may be doing. But, yeah, man, so that was the story time, man. Hey, word to all, all my good people out there, man. In those situations, bro, stop trying to spare people feelings. Stop trying to keep... You 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 disrupting your household to be trying to keep the next motherfucker comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's benefiting you or not, if who you with is who you need, and that other shit ain't nothing to be, ain't no strings shouldn't be no strings still dangling. Everything should be cut off. You feel me? Y'all have a blessed day. We out, bitch. Woo!